Hey everybody, it's Havold and welcome to another discussion video. I know the intro is always the same, but I don't really know how to start these off, you know, because it's it's a discussion video, what am I supposed to do? What do you want me to say? But today we've got a kind of weird one. Okay, we've got a weird discussion because we're going to be talking about Limit Breaker Goku. Uh, basically, if he's going to surpass Beerus. Now, this is kind of an important discussion in a way um, we won't know for sure if he's gonna surpass Beerus or not because first of all I want to talk about Jiren so it's been speculated that Jiren is the mortal who surpasses the power of a god of destruction but that might be a warrior from one of the universes that's actually not competing in this current tournament so that might be the case uh, Although, then again, there's a point to counter that. I mean, if Topo is being considered uh, for the, for, you know, he's being considered as a candidate for the position of a God of Destruction, and Jiren is stronger than Topo, it kind of begs the question, is Jiren stronger than a God of Destruction? Is he stronger than the God of Destruction of his own universe? And how does that even correlate. I mean, of course, he's not really jeopardizing anything for the God of Destruction because God of Destruction has a neutral kind of position. He's got to do his job. He's got to destroy planets in order for new ones to be created. So he's, you know, making that balance. But, you know, Jiren is on the side of justice. He's protecting people. He's fighting crime. So, you know, there's that. He's basically like the Power Ranger or he's the pa <laughs> He's basically a part of a can you force if they were good, if that makes sense? Because somehow all the good guys gotta do the, you know, the classic posing and everything, just whatever. But, I don't know, because if we want Super to continue, right? And if we want Goku and Vegeta to continue having that kind of rivalry, or I can't even pronounce that word, whatever. I'm not going to pronounce that word because, you know, but point being, <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I doing? Okay. So if we have Goku surpass Beerus, uh, it it kind of defeats the purpose, I'd say, because I like that Goku has a goal. I like that he has somewhere that he can reach, I guess. Uh, and if his limit breaker breaks the limits past Beerus, that would be insane. Although if he uses that power against Jiren, beats him, and then after that, you know, they get all the universes back, whatever. He's like trying to grasp that power again, then that would make more sense because I kind of it'd be pretty cool if it's like a one time thing, although he knows that he has it, but he doesn't know how to achieve it again, or that he does have it, but he doesn't surprise Beerus. Because as cool as that is, like I've said, it defeats the purpose of the show because Goku and Vegeta are getting stronger. And you gotta think about it where are they gonna go next? Because we've already gone past the whole gods thing, you know, we've gotten Beerus and Whis introduced to us in Battle of Gods, the movie and the arc, obviously. And then we've gotten the prospect of 11 other universes apart from the current universe with fighters that are stronger than Goku and Vegeta. And where would you go next? What, different timelines again? Because we've been to Future Trunks' timeline. Uh, Goku Black was there and that timeline's gone. So, if Goku goes beyond Beerus now and he goes to the levels of, let's say, okay, let's say it, it turns out Grand Priest is evil, blah blah, then Goku has to confront him. That would be ridiculous, in my opinion, because Goku would then surpass Whis, Beerus, all the other gods of destruction, and that would be weird. Okay, that would be pretty weird, I'd say. It, it would be completely unbalanced. I mean, it'd be cool to watch, I guess, but we'd be going to, like, Dragon Ball AF territory here with, like, power scaling and powers and stuff, because in Dragon Ball AF, you've got Gohan as a Super Saiyan 4, you've got Trunks as, like, a Super Saiyan 3 or something, Vegeta and Goku are, like, Super Saiyan 5s, and they do fusions, and Broly comes back, and... Oh, it's that, that's a kind of loaded mess, but it was pretty cool to, I guess, read when that's all we had. But here, I don't know, man. With Beerus, I like Beerus being there as like a... As like a place to aim, you know, like a tier to aim for. He's like a good 
hard. Because, you know, Vegeta trains to keep up with Goku to stay equals with him, but Goku is just training because he loves it and he wants to challenge Beerus again. So, of course, I do want to see, like, a matchup, a uh, limit breaker Goku against Beerus, you know, when he masters that form, it'd be pretty cool. But I still don't want him to beat Beerus, because Beerus is a god of destruction. If he, if he can just easily wipe out um, the planets, then, you know, it's, it's, it's a god of destruction. Also, another thing is... It would kind of ruin the whole um, despair and suspense you get usually because I I know like there's it's not really that suspenseful right now in the tournament of power it's more like kind of funny and cool it's badass like the latest episode where Hit was fighting Dispo and Goku went Super Saiyan God that was awesome to watch don't get me wrong that was awesome but it really puts into question that sense of like where you're like oh no something might happen because let's be real. We never really feel that, like, that dread or that suspense because, oh yeah, Goku's just gonna transform or they're gonna fuse or something else is gonna happen. But I like when they introduce somebody stronger where you actually, there's stuff at stake. Like, back in the Namek saga, Frieza was so much more powerful than everyone else. Goku was the only one who could really somewhat stand up to him. And then we realized that Frieza wasn't even using, like, he barely went up to 50% of his power, and I'm pretty sure that was when he stopped, uh, either, I think it was when he countered the Kamehameha, or after the Spirit Bomb, and it made Goku's actual transformation so much more impactful, where he started to beat Frieza, and, like, that whole power jump made us just see, like, holy, like, we just saw Goku just get so powerful there. And same with the Cell Saga, you had Cell, who Goku, we were all betting on Goku because he beat Vegeta after Vegeta let him transform, he beat Trunks, um, and we had Goku fight and we're like, okay, come on Goku, you can do it because, you know, nobody else can, we didn't really think that much about Gohan because, you know, Gohan is Gohan, but they were setting up Gohan with his, they were setting him up from the start because whenever he got angry, he had this power, you know, power level jump in his power, like that increase. And when Goku was like, I can't do this, we were like, wait, what? Is the Earth going to get, like, Hakai'd by Cell? What's gonna happen? So we were there, you know, thinking, I mean, obviously not Hakai'd, but, you know, Cell was gonna do the whole solar system Kamehameha, and you knew what would happen after that. So seeing Gohan ascend was awesome, but like I said, if we, if, if Goku surpasses that threshold, like, the threshold of gods, then, you know, that would make Beerus obsolete. But, it'd be cool to see, but I just don't want it to happen. Like, I want to hear you guys' thoughts, but I really don't. Because, like I said, if we want more episodes of this, we want more stuff, more interesting stuff. I'd rather see stuff unravel up in the god hierarchy between the angels, Zeno. I want to see the actual two Zenos start to conflict. Like, instead of agreeing, I want to see one want a different thing, and then this Zeno wants a different thing, and then the angels and everyone else starts getting scared. I think that would be the only way to really bring up that tension and maybe have Goku go up there and try and talk him down or something along those lines. But, I mean... We're gonna de we're gonna get this new transformation regardless, and it's gonna be awesome to see Limit Breaker Goku. I don't know the details of that form, none of us do, but it's gonna be incredibly strong. Um, I'd hope it's gonna be incredibly strong because it's Limit Breaker. It's supposed to break his limits, and the quote that came with that was "The work of the gods ends here." So of course we know that he's gonna take Jiren on in this form because something terrible is gonna happen. Uh, so maybe Goku's gonna like angrily focus the key on the back of his neck and transfer. I'm, I'm kidding. It's, uh, no. <laughs> but I digress. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. There's really not that much else for me to say. I mean, I, I just can't wait to see a rematch between Beerus and Goku. Like Goku in his new form, that's gonna be awesome to see because we haven't seen Beerus be pushed to 100% yet in terms of fighting Goku. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see a much more developed Goku in the sense of he's actually fully like he knows how to use like utilize God Key. He knows how to use it to his own advantage because we've seen him now get to the point of where he can just go from Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Blue and back to maximize that power, which is awesome. Um... 
So it's gonna be interesting to see that fight. But anyways, like I said, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on basically do you guys want Goku to end up surprising Beerus with his limit breaker form, or do you or are you just like no 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 no? That's not no, like that shouldn't happen because you know Beerus is there as a threshold, he's still there, he's supposed to be scary. Remember he's a god of destruction, he can wipe out their entire like wipe out the entire earth at any time. And yeah. Thank you so much for your support. My name is Avold, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.